it was scary y'all <laughs> it was definitely scary but i live to tell the story so here i am stay tuned to hear how one of the most highly regarded heavily promoted dr sebi approved superfoods led to one of the most scariest moments of my life hi everyone welcome back to black culture talks where we talk about all things related to the culture for the culture by the culture and today i'm going to come to you with a topic that is not widely known if you don't think that CMOS can land you in the hospital, then you're wrong. Stay tuned and listen to my story. Everything that I'm going to speak of from this point on is assuming that we are only speaking of high quality CMOS products. There's a lot of bad quality CMOS products in the market, and that is not part of this conversation. We're not going to do cheap CMOS products. Anything else can also have negative side effects, including the ones that I spoke of and more. So we don't do bad quality at all, ever. So it was a year ago, just about. It was July of 2021. I thought I was doing everything right. I thought I was doing everything to live a healthy lifestyle. I was detoxing. I was eliminating sugar, um, very little salt and only certain types of salt that are deemed healthier. I was exercising and on July 4th or 5th, no, excuse me, July 5th, I landed in urgent care out of nowhere. So CMOS, everyone's heard about it. Dr. Sebi approved. People who started taking CMOS claim no illnesses afterwards. We've heard about CMOS from Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Matter of fact, I'll insert that video in the description box. But before we proceed, please do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, turn on notification bells so that you're aware each and every time we bring content to you. But today I thought it was really important because like many other women, especially black women who are looking for healthy alternatives, CMOS was introduced to me last year after a trip to Grenada where I came, I was blessed to come back with some wild-crafted organic sea moss straight from the island. So I went in. Now my trip was in May of 2021. By July of 2021, I thought I was going to be super healthy, <laughs> you know, with all of my herbs and spices and sea moss that I brought back from Grenada. Matter of fact, I'll insert pictures at the end of this video so you'll just see how beautiful and lush the island is. I just knew, you know, I was going to be like superwoman by the time I finished taking these herbs. Well, that's not what happened. I literally ended up in urgent care around July 4th of 2021. And guess what the culprit was? CMOS. Now, remember, I mentioned this was organic, wild-crafted CMOS. So it wasn't the fake stuff that we hear about. It wasn't um, grown in waters that were unkempt. This is a product that people would pay a lot of money to get because of its quality. And the only reason it didn't send me to the hospital was because most hospitals weren't accepting patients at that time, unless you literally were an extreme situation, like urgent care had to send you to the hospital. So a little bit about the story. I returned from Grenada in June, early June of 2021, full of herbs and spices, like I mentioned before, and purple sea moss, wild-crafted, organic purple sea moss. And so I went in. I made jars on jars on jars <laughs> of sea moss gel. I infused sea moss with pineapple. I infused sea moss with some of the hibiscus that I brought back. I had um, honey-infused sea moss, and I was doing like I heard others say, taking it with every meal. So in the morning, I'd get up, I'd make a smoothie. I'd put two to three tablespoons of my homemade sea moss, <laughs> organic sea moss. I would put two to three tablespoons of that into my smoothie in the morning. Then in the afternoon for lunch, I would add another two to three, probably two in the afternoon. I would do two tablespoons of sea moss if it was in a soup, if it was in a juice or or sometimes just take it plain if it was one of the infused ones from the tablespoon i just take the tablespoon and swallow and i would do another two 
in the evening before I went to bed. So I was ingesting anywhere from six to seven tablespoons of sea moss each and every day. I was also detoxing. So I was trying to primarily eat fruits and vegetables with a little bit of fish. So I was pescatarian, but there is a such thing as overdosing <laughs> from sea moss. And my body could not tolerate the amount of sea moss that I was taking in. And let me also add a disclaimer. I am not purporting to be a medical professional. I do not claim any extra knowledge about this area. I am simply sharing my experience and what the physicians told me was my issue. So please proceed with caution. And you know, I just want, when this video is said and done, I really want everyone to know their blood labs before going on a CMOS journey. So when you detox, there are certain side effects that happen with that. So yeah, you can initially feel ill, mal-ease. I had ear aches and th sore throat. Um, but reading up on that, I knew that was a sign of the detox. My body getting rid of these negative toxins, these pollutants that have invaded my body. And I was fine with that, right? I could deal with the throat ache, you know, the sore throat and the ear aches. But it wasn't until my organs started having negative effects. My heart rate was at, uh, my resting heart rate was through the roof. I could be sitting down, Netflixing and chilling, and my heart rate would race up to 170, 180 beats per minute. One time it was so bad it was near 200. And that's when I ended up going to urgent care. I didn't know why. I'm thinking this could be, you know, something more drastic. I'm thinking, you know, heart issues can lead to heart attacks, strokes, you know, aneurysms, whatever. I wasn't sure, but I knew it was nothing to play around with. And like I said, under normal circumstances, I would have went straight to ER. The emergency rooms were just too packed. One of the symptoms, as I mentioned, was racing heart rate. I also had vision issues, which I believe came from my blood pressure spiking. I also felt headaches and I had numbness in my left arm. After speaking with the doctor, after having blood work done, I had an EKG, I had x-rays. They were more sure than not that it was due to an overactive thyroid, which was due to the iodine in the sea moss. Now, the reason why I say they were more than sure was because without doing additional specific testing on my thyroid, they could not confirm. And as we know, urgent cares only do limited blood testing, but they could rule out any heart issues. So the orders were to remove the culprit, which was sea moss from my diet and see if that helped. And guess what? <laughs> it sure did help. So while I'm thinking, oh, too much cannot be bad, right? The more, the, the better, because I'm hearing this from other videos and YouTubers that I'm doing the right thing. But after researching more and more and more, there are so many other stories of people that ended up in the hospital and with really bad side effects. CMOS can make you dehydrated, which I neglected to mention was another order. I had to drink so much water every day to rehydrate myself. Now, a healthy dose of iodine is very important for overall health, but too much in a daily diet can have an adverse effect on your thyroid and your overall thyroid health. Hyperthyroidism can be a side effect of ingesting too much iodine. Next is gastrointestinal effects due to CMOS, which include everything from bloating, constipation, belching, diarrhea, and cramping. You can also notice negative side effects on your skin, primarily due to an allergy of sea moss, because just like some people are allergic to seafood, sea moss is technically in the same family. So if you do have a seafood allergy, please be cautious when taking sea moss. If you're already on blood pressure medication or have blood pressure issues, please consult a physician before ingesting or starting a sea moss regimen. The two can counteract. I will come back to talk about my positive experience with CMOS because there were many. But before I did that, I needed to discuss this all important fact. So let's quickly talk about the good. 
it is said that sea moss contains 92 of the 102 minerals that the human body requires to function. There is some debate about that, but it is rich in calcium, iodine, contains potassium iodine, potassium bromide, zinc, natural silica, and selenium. These are all elements that our body needs, but it's hard to find in a normal diet. It is also known as a superfood. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells. Stay tuned for pictures of the beautiful herbs that I was able to bring back from Grenada. I can't wait to go back again. Um, something very special about that island. I will also share some of the wonderful results that I had using sea moss next week. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, if there's any questions that you have about my experience, please comment below. Thank you again for tuning in to Black Culture Talks. I'm Kim. I will see you next time. Take care.